Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Kakashi from Naruto. So we start with the eye, the exposed eye. So he's got one eye that's open, one eye that's covered up by the headband. So start up on the left side here and draw a straight line across the top of his eye. From the center here, I'm just going to pull down a diagonal line towards the center of his face. And on this side here, I'm just going to pull down a diagonal line again. Underneath the eye, I'm just going to draw a very thin line going horizontal across. The top here, on the top half, I'm just going to draw the bottom half of his pupil. And I'm just going to color in half of it on the right side. Now on top of this eye, I'm just going to draw a double eyelid. So I'm just going to draw a little line that goes across the top, like so. And underneath here, I'm just going to draw a little bit of an eye bag. So a curve that kind of comes across and down. Let's get to the side of his head here. So here, I'm going to draw the side of his temple coming down to his chin, which would be probably right about here with a curve. So starting up here above the eye, I'm going to curve towards his chin, right about here. And at the bottom of the chin, I'm just going to flatten it out. So then his head's going to be mirrored. So then I'm going to try to mimic this line across this way, but the headband is actually going to cover half of it. So I'm probably going to come up about here with a curve line going up his jaw. I'm going to stop right there and I'm going to draw the headband line. So on this side here at the top, I'm just going to do an overlap. Just kind of go over, go across, and then down towards that point, and just overlap that as well. From here, I'm going to draw the face mask. So underneath here, I'll start right about here and go across and go up, and just kind of flatten it out as I get towards the center of the face. Let's draw the nose. So halfway from here to here, I'm just going to draw an upward curve. And then from here, I'm going to connect these two points with a very steep curve, almost goes to a point there. Now from here I'm going to draw the side of the headband, so here I'm going to probably make it up about that thick. I'm going to do a curve that goes up to the top. And on the side here I'm just going to draw a curve that kind of goes around the side of his head, sort of in this angle. So from here I'm going to go up, and it's going to be a little bit thicker. Now I want to connect this point to this point with a curve that comes down. But around here, I'm going to have some hairs that's, that sort of overlap, it, so I'm going to stop right about there. So coming down toward that point, I'm going to stop right about here. And then here I'm going to do an overlap and draw some hair. So I'm going to draw a curve going down and then back up again. I'm going to draw another curve going down and then back up again. Now here I'm going to just tuck that headband underneath this hair. Let's draw the, the plate, the, uh, the protector that goes on top of this uh, headband here. So in four corners, I'm going to start up here and draw a point here. The next one's going to come underneath this hairband, so I'm going to go across and underneath that hair. On this side, I'm going to curve a line coming down, sort of like an, an angle this way, like a, almost like a rectangle, coming down on this side as well. And I'll connect these two points with a straight line that goes across. Now let's draw the symbol in the center of this metal plate. Starting in the middle, it's almost like a swirl, so I'm going to start in the middle, come around, up, and then as I get past the top, I'm just going to do a little line going outwards. From the bottom edge here, I'm going to go up in an angle, and I'll take this and I'll just go up along the side of that curve there. So there's a symbol, and I'm just going to draw some rivets. So on the corners, I'll draw little circles, tuck this one underneath, and the middle in between, I'll draw a small rivet there. Let's get into the hair. So the hair is just a series of big spikes that kind of come up and they sort of start to curve this way, but as they get to the top, they change angles going this way. So I kind of want to go up this way and this is the highest point here. So starting on the side, I'm going to draw a point. And I'll draw a curve going up. Oops, I think my thing just moved a little bit. Okay, from here I'm going to draw another curve going up and then down. So now the hairs are starting to curve this way. I'm going to draw another spike going this way, so up to the top, and then down. Now this is where I'm going to shift angles. I'm going to go upwards towards the highest peak, and come down. I'll draw another big peak here, and I'll come, start to come down towards the side of his head. So I want to slowly come down this way. I'm going to draw another spike going up, a small one, coming down. Now I want to switch angles. And curve down back in and you can see I'm slowly just keeping this shape round on the side of the head as I go. I'm going to curve in the opposite direction, go back in. 
And now I'm going to merge with this side of the hair. So I'm going to come down and back in. And then this final one, I'll just tuck that in there. Okay, let's get into the side of the head. So here, see where I left this little gap? Take that corner, I'm just going to pull in and taper that line in for the sideburn. In this corner, I'm going to go outwards with a curve. I'll curve down. I'll come inwards towards this face mask, and then I'll just curve a line going upwards to finish off the bottom edge of the ear. From here, I'm going to curve a line, and then curve back in. And then right about here, I'm going to do an overlap, just draw the back inner part of the ear. So there we got the head. Let's get into the neck area. So the neck isn't as wide as his head. It kind of comes in a little bit. So starting around here, just going to measure that out. I'm just going to curve downwards. Right about here, about halfway. Now I'm going to do an overlap. So the collar actually overlaps the neck. So right about here where the neck meets the, the jaw, I'm going to curve out and kind of overlap. So crossing that neckline. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Cross. Now from here, I'm going to go down to the collarbone. So curving inwards. It's two lines. And I'm going left and right, back and forth, just to make sure I'm balancing this out properly. From here, I'm going to go up to the side of the shoulders. So starting up here, I'm going to curve and connect to that point. Here, I'm going to do the same thing, going up. And from this point, I'm going to go straight up the sides. And then I'm going to take this point and just tuck this in behind the head. Just like that. Let's draw in a little bit of detail on this collar. So I'm going to basically mirror the inner edge between these lines. So I'm going to go up here, draw an angle line going out, curving around, and then going straight down. I'm going to make this twice as thick, so I'm going to repeat that just a tad over. Just to make it look like it's got a little bit of trim. Going across that. Let's try that again on this side. So here at the top, I'm going to come down, curve around, and then straight down. And then I'm going to take that line and just duplicate it right beside it. Just like that. Okay, let's draw a little bit of detail on the shoulders. So here, at this corner here, I'm going to draw a curve going down. So an inward curve going down. I'm going to go out towards the shoulders. So the shoulders are going to make about that wide. So let's start here and go up to this point here. Going across, and I'll go to the right side and try to mimic the same length here and here. I'm going to go up on the sides, on both sides. Now I'm going to do a little bit of detail. So this is going to just, I'm just going to round the, the ends off like this. This will be like a little bit of rib detail along the edge. And from this point, I'm going to just tuck that in with an upward curve to the edge of that collar. And now with this little loop, I'll have to do you just trace the inner area around the shoulder pads. So just trying to keep that consistent line thickness all the way around. Going up. Now let's get into the center part where the vest is zipped up. So here, where this junction point is, I'm just going to curve two lines going inward, leaving a gap. And from this point, I'm going to go straight down. I'm not drawing the whole body, so I'm just going to draw a little bit of upper body detail, and again, trying to keep that thickness spacing even across all from top to bottom here. I'm going to step down a little bit and just draw a line across there. Let's draw a little bit of detail again. So again, I'm going to go in and just trace the inner edge of that line. So it's twice as thick. Just like so. Now from here, from this corner, I'm going to go down to the armpit. So curving outwards. From here, I'm just going to draw a curve going in, both sides, and then just kind of straightening that out at the bottom. Around here, I'm just going to draw that just that outer edge, making it twice as thick. Let's draw some shoulders. So here, I'm going to drop down and just draw curves. Two curves for the shoulders. Here on this side, I'm going to overlap, come down, and curve, overlap, and then just kind of finish off like so. Here, I'm going to overlap, so just pulling it back up, coming in, across, and then pulling that down. 
to draw the big pockets on the vest. So up here, I'm going to draw a straight line going across on both sides. From this corner, I'm going to go straight down. This corner, I'm going to go straight down. Now, it's, I'm going to give this po these pockets a little bit of perspective. So here, this corner, I'm just going to go out in an angle. On this corner, I'm going to mimic that angle going across. Now from here, I'm going to pull this line down a little bit longer than this line because I want to basically mirror this angle at the bottom. Now from here, I'm going to go across with an upward curve and then go straight down to connect those points. Let's do that again here. So again, I'm going to come across, connect it with that line, curve the bottom, and then bring that line all the way down to connect there. Let's draw a little bit of detail in here. So in the middle, I'm going to draw one, two curved lines, and then I'm going to split this into three parts by drawing a little curve like that. Here, I'll do the same thing. So I'm going across with two lines, splitting this into three parts by drawing two curved lines down. Now for a little bit more detail, I'm just going to draw half circles along the top and then along the bottom. Let's do that same thing here on the right side. So half circles on the top, half circles on the bottom. Now, I'm going to take these curves, so that point right there, go all the way up. This one here, I'll go all the way up to meet the length of that line, and then just angle these in. Then take that bottom line and pull those down. Let's do the same here. So here, I'm going to go up, here I'll go up, here I'm going to go down, and down, I'm taking that point and angling out like so, and I think that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Kakashi from Naruto. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please make sure you check out our anime playlist. We have a ton of characters in there. Make sure you're subscribed. Tell your friends about us. Get them to subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.